Hi guys, this is Matthew speaking for Offer Hunters, Offer Shooters International. Next to me is Matthias Streitner from Hera Arms from Germany. And now two German guys try to convince our English audience um, with uh, a broken English accent, I would say, uh, about the H6 system from Hera Arms. The first thing what me came in mind when I saw the system is the magazine on the left side. Is this a system just for law enforcement or is this also a system what a hunter can use? Of course, it is a system for both. Yeah. Um, you can use it as a sport shooter, you can use it for law enforcement, uh, you can use it uh, as well for hunters. And that is uh, where we have designed it for. With the m -lock rails, with the folding stock, uh, with the different colors we offer yeah. in tan, in OD green, in black as well, because we like the small black guns. <laughs> Matthias, you know in Germany, uh, you know that also uh, we have a really traditional hunters scene. I think in the, uh, other countries they um, probably uh, see the whole usage of a gun uh, completely different than us in Germany. What advantage has a hunter when he is using the H6 system? We have um, the option with the m -lock hand uh, guard that we can use AK rails, PK rails, QD mounts uh, for sling swivels. Yeah. Um, all these different kinds uh, the hunter can, can use as well as the sport shooter. And in foreign countries, um, there's not so a big discussion uh, between um, old style hunters, I, I will say, and, and the modern hunter uh, about the design of a gun. Yeah. Um, they, they take more care about the caliber. Uh, if and it the is, function. And the function, of yeah. course. If it is a two, two, three, uh, they, they didn't care if it is a wood glass, six or eight or what else. Uh, they would like to have um, a reliable rifle, uh, what you could use every day for uh, a good price, uh, quality ratio. Yeah. And they love the Made in Germany ones. Yeah. You, you see, my next uh, question is coming up in my mind. And um, I'm coming back to my question about the example on the hunt. Is, uh, you know uh, the example for the hunt on the stand? Oh, of course. Um, what I what I will what I will show you. Everybody knows uh, these old high seat uh, our grandfathers have built with the small windows. In Germany, our grandfathers in, in, in Germany. <laughs> in Germany, <laughs> yeah. maybe maybe also in in other countries. Yeah. And uh, you have often the situation uh, when you lie down with your rifle that the magazine comes normally out uh, of the system. Uh, is on, the up, on, on the upper side is on the way, so you have the chance um, okay. to put your rifle um, on your rest, whatever you use uh, from the from the front side up uh, to the to the trigger, um, and that is perfect. Um, is the advantage, of course. Okay. Of course, or if you use uh, your rifle when you when you lay down and shooting from uh, your hunting backpack um, as a rest. It's yeah. also perfect. You have, have in mind you have your hunting backpack uh, under the under the rifle, so there's also no magazine uh, in the way, and you have trouble um, yeah, to find the right position. Yeah. Uh, in this caliber, is this uh, especially um, designed for uh, varmint control? Of course, of course. Varmint control here uh, in Germany, we also shoot um, rodeos. As well, and yeah, varmint control, pest control, however you will call it. Yeah. Fox hunting is uh, one of the main things uh, you will use this caliber. Another thing, uh, what's really interesting about this gun is, um, especially this is a, not a real new trend. The trend comes from America the, to have your own gun, to give it their own look. Uh, is this uh, possible to do that with this gun too? Of course, of course. Um, in general, we offer the gun without extra costs uh, in black color, um, all the polymer parts in black color, in OD green or in mm -hmm. tan. Um, that's completely without extra costs. And in addition, uh, you can order the rifle if you order directly from uh, the factory through your dealer, wherever he will be, mm -hmm. um, with a Cerakote coating of the handguard and the top rail. At mm -hmm. the moment, we offer um, 178 uh, different colors in the H series, which is a spray painted in the, in the oven baked uh, color, which is very robust. Um, yeah, and you can you can have your own design. Yeah. And what is quite nice, uh, we use the standard barrel nut um, 
from the external dimensions of our AR handguards, AR-15 handguards. Mm -hmm. So you can use every Hera uh, AR-15 handguard on this platform too. Um, you have in mind, we have mm -hmm. these nice leather ones. Uh, we have uh, from now also some with uh, a paracord um, wrapping. So you have a lot of different options uh, to individualize uh, your rifle, um, your Hera H6. Another thing is, um, we talked before we start the video today about it, design follow function. You built this gun not to please anyone. Can you tell the audience what was uh, in your mind, uh, in your developer team, to produce a gun with a special kind of look like this? And can you go back a little bit in history? The look is longer on the market. Uh, we we do not de develop the, the design with the magazine on the left side. Um, if we go back uh, in history, uh, it was uh, developed um, uh, in the... Fallschirmjägergewehr? Fallschirmjäger, FG42, yeah. uh, the German Fallschirmjägergewehr, or the Stein MP uh, made in Great Britain. Um, it sold over 100,000. Pieces, yeah, pieces. yeah, and uh, and it was in service, uh, in official service, until the late, I think, 60 or early 70s um, of the last decade. So uh, it it was a design, um, yeah, was spread over the whole world, yeah, yeah. and uh, we put it back into a modern design in a modern rifle. Um, into the uh, yeah, 20th century. We talked about uh, uh, the first um, feedback from the market. You're a little bit late, I can say that. Uh, you presented this last year on the EVA for the first time and we have a little bit, a slight delay in the, uh, for the market, but you are surprised this is our one of our best-selling guns. Of course. We introduced it at the IVA uh, 2023 uh, for the first time on the market. Uh, we got impressive feedback. We uh, got huge, huge pre-orders uh, for the first uh, production lot from all over the world, I have to say. It's uh, not only the European market. Is what do you think? What is the reason? This is the design? It is the design for sure. It is a bit a combination of um, a bowl action gun with these typical parts of uh, an AR-15, the handguard, the magazine, um, the lookalike around. Yeah. For example, the Commonwealth countries uh, like Canada, New Zealand, Australia, um, they, they, love it. They, they love it because they mostly banned all the AR-15 style guns there. Yeah. And that's uh, one of uh, one of the things they love a gun in the design mm -hmm. um, of an AR-15 or in a part of the design. Normally, we deliver it with an A2 flash hider. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, some of the key parts, um, yeah, let you let you remind to the AR-15 system, but in a legal way in these countries. And that's um, one point. Uh, why they also love it. You see, we are still talking funny <laughs> with the English accent. I hope you don't mind. Um, let's talk about the uh, rifle scope. This comes from DD Optics. Then we have a uh, silencer from Recknagel. And we have also from Recknagel the trigger system. The trigger system was especially developed for the H6 system by our partner Recknagel. Uh, it is also well known for the Aratec mounts, uh, which we have here uh, mounted on our scope, um, and also for their silencers. Uh, all of these things are also made in Germany. It's a very, very um, crisp trigger with around 1,000. Sport shooters love it, eh? Sport shooters as well, hunters love it with um, around 1,000 gram uh, trigger weight. Um, you have, yeah, a perfect, uh, a perfect trigger on this rifle. You can see it later on in the videos when we shoot. Um, yeah, we have the combination here, the DD Optics scope. It's um, a 2.5 up to 16 by 42. Mm -hmm. I think it's a perfect combination from the size. Um, um, it looks light. Of course, yeah. it is. It is too. Uh, we have uh, an adjustment also for the parallax. Uh, we have an eliminated uh, reticle. I think the combination uh, is here on this rifle perfect. For the audience out there, uh, can you a little bit put up the differences between the uh, usage for a hunter and a uh, sport shooter? A sport shooter has a, maybe the possibility to get a cheap ammo and train the most manufacturers yeah. uh, of 223 ammo they offer these bulk uh, boxes so you can have a, 
a, a cheap training um, or you can use um, the, mm -hmm. the, the bit better ammunition uh, for competition and also the, the hunters love it uh, for training as well for yeah, warm and shooting. As we are uh, in, the, in the subject of the ammo and the caliber, uh, what is coming up to my mind is uh, the question uh, 308. Ah, <laughs> that, that, that's often uh, that's often asked question. Uh, does the 308 fit into our system? Uh, we have to say, unfortunately not, because we have a mini means, action yeah. with a light white rifle with an AR-15 style magazine. So you can use all the AR-15 style uh, magazines on the market. Mm -hmm. uh, you do not have to use a special Hera one. Mm -hmm. um, you can use whatever you have at home. Uh, that's uh, one very nice uh, point. But we have to use calibers who fit into these magazines. For example, the 223 we have here with the 18-inch barrel. We um, represent um, um, the version with um, the 13-inch barrel in a short version in 300 blackout at mm -hmm. the IVA um, this year, 2024, within the next weeks. Um, and uh, for the future, we will have some options with yeah. our steel action uh, to develop also other calibers into this uh, mini system. Yeah. One of our fans out there, he talked to me at the trade show in Dortmund and said, uh, Matthew, you're always uh, asking the right question, but you uh, sometimes you forget the left-handed shooter. Yeah. <laughs> Is so, it possible to for left? Of course, shooters? of course, it yeah. is possible. We have a straight stock, yeah. so you can use it for left or right hand shooters. Um, because of its lightweight uh, design, um, it is it is not hard to handle. Um, that when you when you reload it, it with your wrong hand, I will yeah. say, um, with the right, right hand as a left hand shooter. So that's not a problem at all. Um, and what's quite nice, we have the folding stock and um, we normally fold it under the magazine but mm -hmm. we can uh, turn we can turn the folding stock adapter uh, to the other side and then we can fold it uh, under the lever of the of the bolt so okay. that's not a problem at all okay well that's a lot of information from Two funny guys from <laughs> Germany, they are trying to uh, talk a proper English. But uh, now you are asked to leave a comment underneath the video what you think about the H6 system from Hera Arms. Would you go on a hunt with that? And um, yeah, we are looking forward to your opinions. Yeah. And I would say thank you very much, Matthew. Matthias, yeah. sorry. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and um, as I always say in the end of our videos, um, leave a comment there. Um, leave a uh, subscribe to our channel and um, yeah, then you are always on the newest trend from Germany.